I'm back with a January empties video. I have a bunch of empties and of course my Victoria's Secret bag. Um, I have a ton of stuff to show you. Um, I actually have a lot more, but a lot of the products I'm like literally like down to there and I'm like, eh, I will save it for next month because I have so much empties stuff to show you here. So I thought I'd wait. And I had a December empties and I don't know where the footage went, so I wasn't able to upload it. So sorry there wasn't a December empties, but there is now a January empties. So let's get started. Okay, so my first thing is in every single empties video, I swear to God. It is the Skintimate Skin Therapy Vitamin E um, Shower Gel for dry skin. I love it. I buy it in two packs. It's just great. I don't know. Um, the next thing that I buy, bought and went through is the L'Oreal Hydro Fresh Toner. Now, um, I really, really liked it. I obviously used the whole thing. It took me a while to use this whole thing because it's a pretty big bottle. Um, but I did not repurchase because I went back to my Proactive Toner, which is like by far the best ever. Like it is the best toner I've ever used. Um, but I didn't mind this one. I thought it was really nice. It was hydrating and really refreshed my skin. Um, so I didn't repurchase, but if you are looking for a drugstore toner, this one's really good. Okay, the next two products actually um, are by Bath & Body Works. It is the Winter Candy Apple Shower Gel and Body Lotion. There's like some stuck and I can't get it out, but um, I absolutely love this for the holiday time. It's my favorite and obviously you can only get it around the holiday time, so when the holidays come around again, I will repurchase. Um, I have a Up & Up Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelette. I went through one of these and I already repurchased and I love these. These are really, really good. Um, one thing I do have to say is I've noticed I always, this is the opening right here. I always lay them like this because if I lay them like this, the top like towelettes don't get dry or they get dry. They don't get as moist as the bottom one. So I always lay it this way, but I love these. They're amazing. Um, and then I have... The Joyco Moisture Recovery Treatment Balm. I went through one of these. Um, I already re repurchased this. I absolutely love it. If you have really coarse, dry hair, this balm is absolutely amazing. Um, you just leave it in your hair for like five minutes in the shower and then rinse it out. It does wonders for my hair, so I absolutely love that. And, ooh, I went through a Bath & Body Works um, foaming hand soap in fresh sparkling snow. This smells so amazing and I'm so mad they don't have it anymore. Oh, it smells like, I don't even know. It smells kind of like perfumey almost, like it's perfumey. I don't know, I absolutely loved it and we went through that. And I went through the, oh, this is Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Divine. Um, I actually um, spray this like around my house and I love it. It's really, really good. Um, it smells a bit florally. So if you don't like florally scents, you probably won't like this. And a little like, it's like florally and baby powder kind of smell. Um, but I liked it for spraying like around the house and making the house smell great. Um, the next thing I went through is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Body Scrub. Um, I featured this in my What's in My Shower. I love this stuff. I want to repurchase it, but I have not yet. But I definitely will be repurchasing. I think it's a great body scrub. Um, I definitely am going to try to look for like a different scent though. Okay, um, I went through the Julep The Best Petty Cream Ever. Um, I got this with my first box that I got from Julep and I just like never used it and then as it started getting drier for winter I loved this stuff. I literally would crawl into bed and like soak it onto my hands even though it's petty cream. I would soak it onto my hands and my feet and it just was really really nice for moisturizing. So I don't know if I'm gonna like purchase it because it was free. It came in my box but I don't know it wasn't bad. Um, next is my 
proactive renewing cleanser. This is amazing if you have acne prone skin or just sensitive skin in general. This stuff is amazing and I already bought it with the toner and I love it. It's just amazing. It's good stuff. Okay, um, next is the, I went through another one of the L'Oreal Go 360 Clean Anti-Breakout. I love it. I love this little scrubby, but I did not repurchase because I'm going full on proactive and using my Clarisonic to see if that works really well for my skin and getting it really, really, really healthy and clear and like soft again. So I liked this though. This is a great um, cleanser for your skin from the drugstore. So love that. Um, what else is in here? Oh, I went through a little sample of the Diesel Lover Dose. Looks like that. Um, it smells like candy. Oh, it's a blend of licorice, jasmine flower, rich vanilla, and dry woods. I actually really liked this smell. It kind of smells like a little sweet, but like a little, I don't know, vanilla. Yeah, you can really smell vanilla. Oh, I love it. It was really, really good, but I don't want to like purchase the full thing. Um, oh, this is really fun. This is, why did I put this in here? Um, these are packer passes to go on the packer sidelines. I think these like fell in here from my bag that I was digging through. Um, yeah, unfortunately the packers did not go on and are done. So those are packer sideline passes. Awesome. I don't know why I have those in there. Okay. Um, what should we go with next? Some of these are, I can't remember. The, some of these are makeup, but We'll go through what's left of like skincare and stuff. Okay, um, this is the Josie Moran Argon Cleansing Oil. It's just a little sample of it. This stuff is the worst, I wanna say a bad word. I'm not going to. This is the worst crap ever. It's awful. Um, I do not like putting like full on oil on my face and that's what it felt like. It felt like like I was just putting oil on my face and then like rubbing it into my skin. Um, I would never ever purchase the full size of this and I mean it did like really really cleanse my skin so if you are really into oils on your face this might be a really good option for you but I did not like it. I would never or I would never purchase it. Um, ooh, this is the Dermalogica Intensive Eye Repair amazing this stuff is amazing this is just a sample size but it lasted me a really long time um, and I would buy the full thing but it's so expensive but this stuff is really really good I really enjoyed using that under my eyes um ooh, this is a sample I don't remember what sample it was of oh I know it was the pure pure D KNY Verbana, the green one. It's the pure green one. This stuff is amazing. I bought this for my mom for Christmas and oh, it smells so good. Like it is the best smell ever. It smells so good. Um, next is the, I got this in a birch box. It's the Skin Transformer Vanish. It's like a primer. Um, I didn't mind it. I thought it was just kind of okay. I didn't really like, I don't know. I would never buy the full thing. Um, let's see. This, oh my gosh, this stuff I also got in my birch box and I purchased the full size. And um, if you saw my hair tutorial, then you know that I love this. This is the 12 Benefits. It's the Instant Healthy Hair Treatment. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. I actually, I love when I find products that I like notice right away that it's doing something good. And this stuff definitely does something good to my hair. Um, it really, really keeps it feeling healthy and soft and not frizzy. And it's just a really, really good, I use it as like my thermal protectant before I blow dry or curl my hair or style my hair. And this stuff is amazing. So I actually did purchase the full thing. Um, what else? I have the a sample size of the Urban Decay All Nighter. 
I already have the um, extra large size of this and I love it. It's amazing makeup setting spray. Love it. Um, I actually have some like expired makeup that I'm going to just toss. And I'm kind of sad because I didn't really use this a lot. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Eyes. I don't even know if they make these anymore. It was just sitting in my makeup drawer and it needs to go in the garbage. And it's definitely, definitely expired. So... I'm just scared to put it on my eyes and then like get some kind of nastiness. Um, and then this one is, I don't even know if they make these anymore. The L'Oreal Wear Infinite um, Single Eye Shadow. It's just like a silver color. Um, yeah, that's got to go. It's way, I've had this for like three years. It just needs to go away. Um, and then this is expired. It is the CoverGirl Eye Enhancers in, gosh, Shimmering Onyx. It's just like a black color and it's just old and dried up and gross and crumbly so I need to throw it away. Um, and then also I have um, my Neutrogena skin clearing makeup. This is so old and um, I just have like a little bit left anyways. It doesn't look like I do but um, I only have a little bit left and it needs to go away. I've had it for too long. Um, and then I have two eyeliners. They are the Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Defining Marker in brown and black. Um, this is kind of what they look like. Um, I don't mind these, but they dry it up super, super fast. Um, I really like the Jordana Fabuliner way better because it didn't dry out so fast on me, but these dried out so fast. Um, oh, and then I have a Lambo Field Pass. <laughs> So if you're a Packers fan, you should thumbs up this video. All right, so that is it for my empties. Hopefully you guys liked this video. And definitely leave me comments down below, like the video, and subscribe. And I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.